Hey guys, what is going on? Lego Man Winch there, and welcome back to another video. With today, I'll be sharing my thoughts on five unreleased sets for Lego Ninjago. All these sets, in my opinion, look really awesome, and it's really interesting to see unreleased sets, which was for Lego Ninjago, because it just shows that sometimes for different TV shows, they have ideas in like concepts and all that but then when they actually come to make the real thing it really doesn't work out and I just find it really exciting how we do have five unreleased sets for Lego Ninjago so without further ado let's get into it firstly we have I believe a build for Cloud City in season 5 of Ninjago or Possession and then it also has this vibe in my opinion of season 11 the ice chapter because of like the detailing in the white but that might be actually representing clouds i really love the build for this like with the detailing and the like overall design including the features as well look really awesome but what i find really interesting is this wasn't included in the season 5 set because i must say it's a really awesome set i would definitely love to go like the official version for it but i can possibly see why they haven't and a theory of mine is that in season 5 they're actually on this journey or quest to find the sword of destiny and then go to the cave with like this mace to actually find a crystal and the only way to do that is if you have a couple of sets so the first one would be cloud city and then the next one would be like that sort of crystal maze they go in where like they see their sort of future selves in the reflection but there's also a really dark scene and that is dead moro skeleton there so i can see why they didn't include that because if they did then it really wouldn't link up just being a set by itself as cloud city so they would have to include more sets which would relate to the show but then it'd be really dark to see like in lego form so i definitely think that is quite a smart move by lego then we have a build for i believe lloyd's treehouse in season one of ninjago or the rise of the snakes and I really like this idea because instead of just getting builds for the ninja and like the bad guys, I like how we're getting a build for like a sort of child and like a sort of childish fun build which was Lloyd's treehouse. But it is really hard to sort of make out what it could possibly be but I do believe it is a treehouse and I really love the design for it with like the colour scheme to sort of be that sort of evil Garmadon feel because like of Lloyd Garmadon. And I believe the minifig included is Nia. Then we have Garmadon's Fortress. And I believe this appeared in like the pilot season of Ninjago when like Ninjago was first starting. And I must say I really love the build for this. I love how sort of evil and menacing it does look with like the colour scheme. And like the sort of skull head and like with all the white detailing to sort of represent skeletons. And in, I believe, like, 2012, we did get the final product for the Garmadon Fortress. And I really love how some of the features included in, like, the concept art, like, with the skull head and, like, the color scheme really did or were included in the final product. And I just love comparing them because they definitely do look very different but also have some similarities. However, I'm not too sure why they didn't go for, like, this Garmadon Fortress because it does look really awesome. It looks really menacing and quite evil with, like, the colour scheme. But I did like the purple on the final product. I definitely think that works really nicely for Garmadon. But I can possibly see why they didn't make this the final product because it does look a little too sort of mature in my opinion for like little kids with like the skull head but that was included in the final product but it could also possibly be because of like the design for it does look a little too mature for like 2012 when Ninjago was first starting and they also wanted to possibly make it just a little more childish because if they didn't succeed in the pilot season for the like the sets and the tv show then Ninjago would be cancelled so I can possibly see why they went for a bit more of a childish approach and a bit more of a fun approach instead of this one which does look quite serious and menacing. Next we have a spaceship and this is a concept for season 3 for like the ninjroids when they go into space for like that sort of episode and I must say I really love the build for it I like 
how the color scheme really works with like the ninjoids and like the other builds we did get for season three and also legacy for season three and then the main design for it does look really awesome i love how it does sort of capture that sort of modern feel but i also really love how it does have a lot of really awesome features included to sort of have that evil sort of menacing feel to it and i also really love just how big it is so you can actually fit quite a lot of minifigs in it so this one is a really hard one to try guess or just think why they didn't have this as a final product mainly because maybe they didn't have like a spaceship for season three because i think they already had like a dragon or like builds for the ninjoids where like they could ride dragons and cars so i really don't think they wanted to include it like more transport or maybe because they simply didn't have enough room and they really couldn't decide which sets they wanted to sort of change so possibly maybe one day we could get like a legacy version of this which would definitely be really awesome and finally we have a season 4 set which i must say looks very similar to the set titled enter the serpent because a lot of the features included especially the color scheme really were included in the sort of final product for enter the serpent but i must say i really like how there's like a snake wrapped around the sort of tower and like the overall build does look really awesome especially the color scheme i really like how that does look and it is very very similar to the final product and i i really love how that does look but what i find really interesting is for like the towers they have like that drill piece in like that brown color and it is very interesting why they've included that and it would have been really cool to actually have that sort of drill piece in the brown color because i think it just adds so much to it and it just looks really unique for like a tower build actually using the drill piece and i think the color scheme is a little bit different because this has more of like a dark light gray with like that brown color instead of purple and i think there was also a bit of gray and light gray in the final product so i really like how this one has that sort of ruined feel like forbidden feel to it as the final product has that sort of modern feel where like it's been inhabited for quite a while so I definitely think the original one works just a tiny bit more better because I definitely think the color scheme and everything included does look really awesome. But the original one does have a lot of the features and details in the sort of final product. So I could definitely see they've got a lot of inspiration to actually fix it up from the concept. So that is very interesting because I'm really not too sure why they changed it possibly maybe because they wanted to have that sort of childish feel to it to sort of match with the other builds they did for like the anachondrias for like the sort of airship i think there was and then like the different sort of vehicles so they wanted to make it look really quite modern but it is very interesting to actually see the differences between these two sets so hope you guys did enjoy this video because i thought it was really interesting taking a look at unreleased sets from ninjago because it just shows how far ninjago has come and it also does show that not everything they make is the final product and i definitely think that is quite a very valuable lesson because lego is a very successful company and not all the time they just get things First up. And I definitely think it was very interesting and quite enjoyable to actually show these to the public just to prove that LEGO as a company not always succeed in what they build for Ninjago as well as having concepts for ideas what they think is really awesome but then in reality they're just a little too mature and I definitely think that is a very valuable lesson and I think other companies should sort of thrive to do that as well so i would definitely love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below about these five unreleased sets for legend and jogger and as always guys hope you guys did enjoy this video and i can see so goodbye